Hello and welcome to the Bewitched Hours channel. In today's video, I am going to be talking about a book titled Where the Lost Wander. This novel was released on the 28th April 2020 and it is written by one of my favorite authors, Amy Harmon. She has a well-deserved spot in my top 10 list. Where the Lost Wander is a historical romance set in the 19th century and precisely in the Oregon Trail of America. This is a story that follows our two main characters, John and Amy. Amy is a 20 years old widow who is traveling with her family members, younger brothers, father and pregnant mother and they are basically moving from one place and to another looking for new opportunities and adventure as well as a better quality of life. John is their guide. He is guiding them as well as many other families on the trail to transport them from A to B. But John's story is a bit different because he is not an ordinary man, he is a mixed, meaning that he comes from two different backgrounds, two different heritages. He is half white, half Pawnee. So he may belong to these two parts that are completely opposite, but at the same time he feels as if he's a stranger, as if he doesn't belong at the same time. So. In the book, we see the growth that both characters are going to have to, to do because the journey or the traveling that they are taking is not going to be easy. It brings hardships, it brings losses, it brings pain and suffering, but at the same time, it creates this connection between Amy and John where they recognize each, each other's souls and they fall in love and they dream of spending the rest of their lives together. Yes, they face lots of obstacles along the way. They go through so many hard things that give them scars, you know, internally as well as physically, but they do succeed in the end and they do get out you know and they do reach a point where they feel secure safe and happy and finally able to breathe and live the life that they want what i like about amy Harmon's books as well as her style in writing she does not write just to write she writes with a purpose with a message in mind with each one of her books, you will discover a message, a hidden message that, that will make you question things about yourself, your personality, the life that you're leading. And that is one of the things that I really admire about her. One little pet peeve that I had with this book, <laughs> to be honest, it happened at the beginning of the book. So the story picks up in the present time and suddenly out of nowhere you are transported back to the past so the writer doesn't give a hint or you know sort of an indication that it's going to be changed you know the timing is going to be changed that actually gave me a little pause for about five seconds where i had to kind of get my, my footing right again and figure out exactly what happened but, you know, like I said, it's just a pet peeve and it was very minuscule, very small. I mean, I was able to kind of forget about it What once I really got deeper and deeper in the, the story. So, this is the review. I highly recommend you check this book out. Just read it. Even if you don't like historical romance, I guarantee you, you're going to love this book. And also check other novels by this writer, by Amy Harmon. You know, you can't go wrong with her. You just can't. Each book is 
a masterpiece, if I do say so myself. So this brings us to the end of the video. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever read a new book by Amy Harmon and what did you think about them. Like the video if you actually liked it and don't forget to subscribe so that you can join me on this journey of book reviewing, book recommendations as well as movies. I'm going to post some really really good stuff in the upcoming days so stick around and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Have a good day.